what drives you to do what you do in the nonprofit and obviously the profit world and running with the <laughs> bulls in Spain? But anyway, <laughs> besides fear, yeah, uh, right. I think intellectual curiosity. Okay, uh, more than anything, uh, every pursuit I've ever undertaken in life has been largely driven by intellectual curiosity. Mm -hmm. uh, I've uh, wide interests. I really am. I probably have had some adult version of ADHD or something, or whatever, or whatever that is. <laughs> ADD, but, uh, or ADD call it, right, yeah, right. exactly. Uh, I just I am intrigued by many things. Mm -hmm. I love to learn. You okay. know, the love of learning, I think, drives me more than anything. Okay. Whom do you credit most influential in your life, Matt? It can be more than one person, and it can be personal or professional. That's a hard. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like the Oscars. And yeah. I want to thank. Them. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> uh, as much as anything, I, I really think if I had to pin it down, when I was a kid, I read so many biographies mm -hmm. and autobiographies, and uh, and in fact, I was a, I was a, probably still am, but was a bit of a geek. My my high school yearbook quote okay. was a quote by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who said that the lives of all great men remind us we can make our lives sublime, and in passing, leave behind us footsteps on the sands of time. Mm. And that was, you know, I was 18 years old, but I really, that has long, from the time I was a kid, I always uh -huh. was kind of that way. Reading uh, biographies and autobiographies, certainly my parents as well, I'm a product of, of genetically and, and the environment sure. in which I was raised, uh, but I'm really just kind of a, a mix of a whole lot of folks <laughs> and, and ideas and things that I've read. Mm -hmm.